Following on from the out of box video of the Benelli M2 Speed, I bring you the Nova Speed from Benelli. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is an out of box look at the new Nova Speed from Benelli. And Yes, there will be a video where I will be giving this thing a good going over, as in a good shoot, good test. But this initially is an out of box walk round. So let's just basically have a look at it and we'll put it together. Now, you know me, guys, I ain't going to put it together on camera because I'll be eating springs and taking my eye out with bits of gun flying everywhere. I just don't build stuff on camera you know if you're subscribed to this channel you should know me by now it just ain't gonna happen it'll be disastrous that'll be in the outtakes that will but let's have a look at a look at this thing bit of a closer look bit of a walk around so obviously this is the box you know it is going to be a bit of a i don't like calling them unboxing it's an out of box look at see what we get and then we'll put it all together right then first of all let's get this bit out you get your chokes which is nice i'll talk more about them in a minute so you get your chokes you get some ben oil benelli oil from benelli's oil refinery <coughs> yeah uh, that is your barrel and magazine clamp what other bits we got in there that's your choke key uh manual we'll be having a look at that in a minute and then this is the barrel inside here let's get that out so this is how it is packed basically so there is the barrel and then let's find the action there's going to be a big spring in here so there's the big spring magazine and here's the action let's get all this like out we'll move the box let's get rid of that raw video guys you know how i roll let's get that out of the way there we go there's all the bits let's shift the box Oh, without destroying any of my studio. Right, box out of the way. That's an unboxing video, no messing about. So, here are all of the bits. So, I think really we need to put this thing together, don't we? And there we go, that was easy. <sighs> yeah, right. No, actually, to be fair, it weren't too bad. This is quite a nice gun to put together to be fair just got to read the instructions something that i never do but no nice and easy to put together it's just them springs that are a bit of a pain but when you're putting the the mag extension on but yeah here we have the benelli nova speed let's have a good look at this little beauty then well i say little it ain't very little <laughs> no it ain't very little it's pretty long it's pretty long but just look at that. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? A real cool shotgun, real cool. Let me throw out some specs first, then we'll have a closer look at this thing then. So 12 gauge, this, will, this shotgun will take 76 millimeter Magnum cartridges. Receiver finishing or finish even is kind of like Cerakote, but it's called Urgle Racing Grey Anodized. Stock and forend are black techno polymer. Stock length uh, to trigger or length of pull is 365 millimeters. Magazine capacity 12 rounds, weighing in at 3.3 kilograms. Really, really nice shotgun. Overall length, uh, I've not got the overall length. Uh, I will throw that in the on screen right now. What a cool shotgun. The first thing I noticed about this shotgun as I got it out the box, 
was, not in this video, prior to this video, when uh, I had a look at another one and put another one together, I was like, oh, I don't know whether that fore end is gonna, the traction on it isn't gonna be very good. Let me sort of explain. I've got, I've been running a Benelli Supernova for years and years. For It's my, basically my hunting uh, shotgun. And, but it's interesting to bring this to the table because the, the old Benelli Supernovas have quite a different fore end. It's quite, quite a lot bigger. I mean, look at the size of the, the actual pump on that compared to it. I know it's a diff, kind of different because you've got, um, you've got like the, the mag stop button here on the Supernova. I know you don't really need it on a competition shotgun. It is what it is, but I thought to myself, mm, I don't know whether that traction is going to be as good as the old Supernova where you've got basically these ridges here. You know, is is it going to be as good as that? Because this thing is a real, even in like adverse conditions, real bad weather, wet weather, this thing is really good, really good. Trust me, I know, I've used this thing in all sorts of weather. Just wanted to sort of throw this out there, you know, just to compare it. I think it's quite interesting. But do you know what? As soon as I got my hand around that, I don't know what it is. I think it's like this this texturing that they've got. It's almost it's almost fish scaly. It's kind of I don't know. It's so grippy. It's almost like sandpaper. Almost like sandpaper. It's so so good. So I was well impressed with that. Even with sweaty hands. You know, even if you're doing a competition in the wet, you know, whatever. If you're especially in the UK, anything can happen with the weather. Um, you're not going to have any trouble with that. You really are not going to lose traction with that. And that was my my first sort of concern. Oh, the old trusty supernova. Nice to bring that out to the table. But yeah, um, I just thought that was going to be the killer if I'm honest, but no, proven wrong as soon as I felt that. And guys, as soon as you, you get your hand around that, that forehand, you'll be like, wow, that is, it's almost sticky. It's not sticky and it's not, it's just normal polymer, but it is just like that texture in that they've got. It seems to just really grip your hand. Really, really impressed with that. I really do like it. The same texturing is on the pistol grip as well. So offers, Loads and loads and loads of grip, which is obviously what you want. You have got, obviously, and it goes without saying, and you've probably noticed already, um, Benelli's, I think, what is it, the Comfort Tech? I think it's the Comfort Tech. I hope I've got that right. The Comfort Tech uh, recoil system that is really, really nice. Again, that is on the, you know, the good old trusty. You can see it a bit more visible there on this supernova where there's all like rubber indentations. Basically the, the whole sort of stock flexes. Quite interesting as well. I know I'm kind of going off topic here, but I've got a Benelli rifle here. Uh, this is the Benelli Lupo. And that has the same sort of system inside it, but stay tuned for that review. Quite interestingly as well, the same texturing on the pistol grip and on the fore end. Hmm, interesting. But, that you see, that's a big thing with competition shotguns or competition guns of any, any type really. I always look for that grip. You know, would you need to enhance grip on this sort of thing? You know, get the old grip tape out, the skateboard tape out. I don't think you would. I think it ticks all the boxes. Right then, let's take it from the butt stock. So here is your recoil pad. Really nice, lovely texturing on there. The kind of, I don't know, it's almost fish scaly again. Kind of, you know, it all sort of fits in with the rest of the gun. It all flows. Sling swivel points there. Not that you're gonna need them. I mean, you're not on a competition shotgun like this, are you? You're not. Pistol grip is really, really nice. Perfect for my average size mitts. Benelli's logo on the bottom of the pistol grip there. And then moving on to the actual receiver. Now the receiver is all 
aluminium magnet test there. Anodized, anodized, I always say that wrong. Anodized, anodized. I did say once, adenized, but you're adenoid, adenoids or something. In the back of your nose, I think. I had them out when I was a kid anyway. But anodized finish, this gray finish, which is really, really nice. Just like on the M2, it is, it's not Cerakote. Is it as good as Cerakote? Don't know, don't know. But really, really nice. Cross bolt safety on the uh, Nova there. Could that be a little bit bigger? It is on that side, but yeah, it's all right. Nothing wrong with cross bolt safeties. It's in the right place. Although I am a fan of Tang safeties, but you know, just just not on this not on this particular gun. If I was to make you know make the ultimate Benelli, I'd probably have a tang safety you know kind of kind of like what you get on let me just bring the mossberg 500 to the table so that's a tang safety i kind of prefer that oversized one there on this uh, custom build of mine mossberg 500 yeah i'm i'm a big fan of tang safeties but i can put up with Cross bolt safeties, not a problem. Now, this is where the interesting stuff starts then. So, the first thing you will notice with this shotgun when you first initially have a look at it and have a bit of a play with it, is it is so smooth. So smooth to, sh to well, I've not shot, shot it yet, but so smooth the pump is. And it's quite interesting because Again, I'm gonna have to bring I'm gonna have to bring the supernova to the oh you can't really tell on the supernova, but because the, the forend on the supernova comes right back, so you don't sort of see any of the working bits. That's kind of like it's almost like two thirds. Yeah, that's almost like two thirds of the supernova's forend. But here, and I don't think it no, you, when you look down. I don't know whether you guys will be able to see, when you sort of look down sort of inside of the supernova, you've just got your action rails, which are these here, the metal action rails, which obviously guide the, the fore end or the pump. But you've also got these, I'd always, almost call them sort of runners, tracks or whatever, that keep everything nice and solid you know, and it, it don't sort of flap about or anything. You've got, but they're all polymer and it's all nice and sleek and I like that. Wonder what it'll be like after time, you know, if you, you know, say if you, I don't know, you're doing a competition, say out in the desert or something like that, wherever, whatever country you're in, if you've got a bit of sand in there, would that grind it away over time, you know, with it only being polymer? Don't know, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. You know, I, I like to, kind of think outside the box how how things are gonna last you know at the end of the day this is a manually operated shotgun you know guys are going to be shooting this thing fast if you get any grit in there is that going to grind away at that rail with it just being polymer don't know i guess time will tell let's leave the supernova on there because i might have to just refer to it so we keep keep picking it up again so yeah, so interesting, very interesting. That is your um, forend release, your action release there. So obviously you can't move it now because imagine I've got a, a cartridge chambered. Press that to release. So let's break out actually, while I think about it, let's break out the dummy cartridges and we'll just see see what this thing is like as far as sort of loading. Let me just grab them on the other end of the rat cave. Let's double check these are, these are dummies. Yep, they're dummies, they're dummies. Let's put one in. So imagine we fire that. And then, yeah, I mean that, that flicks that thing out pretty well. Let's load it up. 
Now, I'll talk about this before I do. This is a feature I love. So, Benelli, obviously, they have listened to competitors who want more meat cutting out of the loading port. They've done that. They've cut a big chunk out of the side, just like on the M2, which is really nice. I don't think guys will need to get the Dremel out anymore on this thing. I don't think you can, you could probably, you physically probably could not take any more meat out of this. I really don't think you could. Uh, oh God, what would you want to Just destroy your warranty? Mm, no, maybe not. I think there is enough there. There is enough meat out of there to, you know, to offer uh, plenty of room to load. But what I do like is when you push the loading gate down, it stays down, which is great. You've actually got a bit of a, like on the M2, I mean, it is just the same as the, N, the M2 speed, but this is obviously just the Nova, which is the pump action version rather than the semi-auto. But you've got this bit of a ramp here, which is really nice. So easy to load. I mean, so easy. I'm going to attempt to double load it. I ain't going to try and quad load it on camera, especially at this angle the way I, the, where I am. But it's just a cinch, yeah, a cinch to load. Okay. You know, this is a new gun, new spring and everything. But yeah, real, real nice, nice gun to load. Let's just show you that chambers like that. That ejection is great. God knows where that cartridge has gone. Bang. Oh, caught that ish. So yeah, it's a flawless design that I have never seen have any issues with. Um, in all my time and probably what, a good seven or eight years of ownership of the Supernova using out in the field in all sorts of weathers. I know not competition shooting, but I've done a lot of clay shooting with that, a lot of um, pest control with that. Never ever have I had any problems with that shotgun. The loading of it, the reliability is just second to none. And I think you'll find that will be the case with the Nova Speed. Now, the action, like I said, is really nice. The only thing that concerns me is just if you've got a bit of crap in those rails. I don't know. As long as you keep it clean, I think you're going to be all right. Probably nothing to worry about. But it would be interesting to see what the wear and tear is like on that polymer rail there, which is either side. That will be interesting to see over time. Moving on to the barrel. Well, we've talked about we've talked about the the loading port, which is again, like I said, really nice. That is your magazine follower there, which is nice in the same red as the takedown nut there, and the barrel and magazine spacer. Really, really cool coloration. I love the black, grey and red. It is really nice. They need to do a yellow one. I know Benelli is red, but they need to do do the same same sort of colour, colouring, but replace the red with yellow. I think that would look totally sick. 10-year warranty as well. That's just reminded me. 10-year warranty. Benelli's warranty, which is excellent. So 10 year warranty guarantees repair or replacement of any Benelli mechanical parts. So yeah, I guess you haven't really got to worry about that. If it did start wearing, you're covered under warranty for, for the 10 years anyway. So I guess you haven't really got to worry about it. Um, so yeah, really cool. Mechanically, these guns are just rock solid. That's what I'm getting at guys. And that's why I've got the supernova on the table someone who has used a Benelli pump action for a long time and put, I've chugged so, so many rounds through that thing. You know, Benelli's, I just love them. Real big fan of Benelli's, especially the shotguns are just absolutely stunning. And the re reliability is just amazing. The barrel, you've got a massive high ridge there, 
or rib, sorry, of the barrel. That, I don't know what the measurements are of that actual rib, but it is pretty big. I think it's, I think it's 10 mil. I'm sure it is, I've not got a tape here. You have got pop-up uh, rear sight there, which is nice if you are shooting slug. Give you a closer look at that. So that is really, really nice. And then I love fiber optic sights and you get a massive one on the Benelli. Really, really nice. And that thing literally just, it's like a laser. It just sucks in the light. Really, really good. And that is what you need when you are shooting steel, which most guys will be with a shotgun like this. The chokes that you get, it has actually got a choke in the uh, in the gun at the minute. So it's a basically like a flush fitting choke there. You do get uh, extended chokes as well. I think you get a couple of flush ones. Um, and you get, so they call that one the, the long shot. So that one sort of sticks out basically, which you kind of want, I guess, um, because the only drawback of having a, a long magazine like that is that it's gonna get carboned up after a bit of time. So the more you can sort of extend that barrel a little bit, probably the better, I guess. You know, if you're a bit finicky and you know, you want to keep your gun clean, but that will get carboned up guys. Just warning you, just warning you. Moving on to what we were talking about the barrel. So that's the barrel pretty much. Your magazine, obviously a little bit longer than the barrel, as you can see. You've got this bit of a recess here where the barrel clamp goes. This is your takedown nut, which will to strip this thing down, I'm not gonna show you on camera. Um, basically, you've gotta take this off first. Obviously, make sure it's clear and safe, obviously. But take the barrel clamp off, and then you've gotta undo this, and be careful when you do it, because the spring, the spring inside will shoot out, okay? And it will shoot across the room. So, be careful as you undo that, and then it basically the barrel pulls off, and you it all falls to bits pretty much. You can take the trigger mech out. Uh, again, not gonna show you, but you just drift that pin out there and the tri trigger mech will drop out. Would you need to do it? Not really, unless you get this thing really, really dirty or really wet maybe, I don't know, but you should be pretty good to go. Pretty good to go. As far as just a boar snake through this this gun, bit of lube on the action bars. That's pretty much it to keep this thing maintained. You know, uh, it's unlike a semi-auto gas operated, for example, where you've got to keep the ports clean and keep all that carbon and crap out of the gun. Not so bad on an inertia gun because you're just pushing all the crap straight out of the barrel, but whereas a, a gas operated one, where some of that gas is being used to operate the action in the semi-auto. You've got to keep them things clean to keep them reliable. So pump is always, I think always the best option, I think when it comes to reliability, you've just got to not sort of short stroke it. You've got to be forceful with a, an overspeed. I've seen guys, or with a pump action that is, I've seen guys that can run pump actions as fast if not faster than semi-autos, just want to put the Mossberg on the table just to sort of, I'm a big fan of pump actions. Oh, I've got another Mossberg here. Got a Mossberg Persuader. Oh yeah, that is on test here in the Rat Cave at the minute. But yeah, just thought I'd throw them out there. Let's have a look at, I know this is a dedicated uh, Nova Speed, but I just wanted to, show these bit of fun bit of fun let's move them all right i'll move them guys will be like oh rat what are you doing this is a no this is benelli nova video not every pump action you've got there in the rat cave so i'll leave that one there that is a benelli that can stay that can stay what else do you get then in the box we did touch on it briefly you get your ben oil from benelli's oil refinery that apparently they own in the middle east somewhere just kidding. Um, it's in Italy, isn't it, I think. 
Uh, so yeah, use that stuff for basically keeping your action bars lubed up. You get your chokes, you get your four chokes. Um, basically, yeah, one for every type of shooting you'll need. I think to be fair, I would keep, what is that one? Uh, I don't want to take the sticker off. I think that's a tight choke, so that'll be for that's why they're calling it the long shot. I don't know, you can get aftermarket chokes. Extended chokes, I think, are always better as well. You can always make sure that they're tight, you know, um, during your competition. Obviously, not when you're shooting, but in between, you can just make pinch them tight without, without having to use any tools. But that is the tool that you get for you. I'm not going to open it, but it, that's your wrench basically for your. Uh, chokes. The, here are your shims. You get a selection of shims so you can adjust the um, bend, so to speak. Oh, well, I'll just drop my microphone. You can adjust the bend or the cant or what's the word? Oh, you know, you guys know what I'm on about. You can just adjust it. So if you're more of a lefty or a righty, you can sort of just bend it and shim it and out, however you want. You get a selection there. I'm a lefty and this thing is pretty straight so i think this gun will sh will suit all basically uh you get an allen key in there for adjusting bits and pieces i've not actually used that allen key to put it together and then you get the manual which is pretty good pretty good it first of all thanks you for purchasing the uh, benelli Okay, there's some bits and pieces there. A real good manual, manual. Although I'm looking at the, um, I'm looking at the, the wrong language here. Oh, where's the English version? Oh yeah, we got the English version. I think. Well, let's try and get to it. Well, you get the picture, guys. Excellent diagrams. There we are. We're at the English point. All your sort of warnings and you know, your general sort of safety bits and pieces. Love the diagrams in this gun. Tells you how to put your spacers in um, and your shims and this, that and the other. How to remove your chokes. So, oh, exploded diagrams. I was waiting for it. Real excellent manual. Exploded diagrams of every component, basically, of this uh, this shotgun so yeah real good manual nothing to complain about there so really really nice manual informative tells you everything you need to know gives you all your warnings all the usual all the usual stuff let's just get everything back there so guys like i said this is just a walk around let me get rid of the the supernova this is just a walk around out of box look at the Benelli, Benelli Nova Speed, the latest competition practical shotgun from Benelli. And do you know what? I think I'm definitely a pump action guy rather than, I like the M2, the semi-auto. Mm, I think if it was me, uh, I think I'd go for the pump. I think I really would. I do love this thing, but I'm that's ju I'm just going on my mileage. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, pump actions, but this thing is really cool. It looks awesome. You know, it feels awesome, and I dare say it will perform awesomely. Going by my experience, it will, and I will run this thing. That'll be another video. There'll be a range time showing this shotgun off and seeing what it can do. I'd like to do some long range slug with one of these just to see what those open sights are like. Just, you know, just out of interest. It'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is your rack and load out of box look at the Benelli Nova Speed. Thanks for watching. That's Rack and Load. See ya.